Hello there, yes, I'm in Dongguanjie again. And you know how they say, in Rome, do as the Romans do? I've got a phrase as well. In the place you live, do as the tourists do. Yes, and I live in this city called Yangzhou in Jiangsu, China. And now I'm going to take the ferry, which is a very touristy thing to do. This is the Dongguan Ancient Ferry. And that will take me all along the canal, which goes in a big square around this ancient part of the city, which is called Guangling. It's a very beautiful place, as you can see. I'm in Dongguanjie, which is the, um, the Dongguan Old Street. A very famous place here. All of these buildings are quite old. I couldn't tell you how old they are. Um, originally quite old. And so I'm going to make my way over to the ferry and see if I can take a trip around this area. That should be really fun. If not, I'll just walk around it and um, see what I can see. And if you've been to China before, you might think, well, every city in China has one of these old ancient cities that are made up to be a center for tourism. This place is a little bit like that, I guess, but the difference is with this place is that all of these old buildings are uh, legit. These buildings were here hundreds of years ago. They've stayed pretty much intact and people still live here actually. In these little alleys in here, you can still see the private residences. There are no-go areas for tourists and uh, many of the elderly people that you, you'll see. This is their neighborhood. Something like this is their neighborhood. It's pretty mad. Down there for instance. And it will have to go down there because I need the toilet. I end up seeing a cat in my videos. <laughs> they bingo with my videos, a cat would end up being in there somewhere. Tat store, you gotta love it. Traditional Chinese walking cane, traditional Chinese Thomas the Tank Engine. Love it. And then they have this big ass gate. Look at that. While I'm here, I'll show you the statue of Marco Polo. Oh, they still have a testing station over there. You're catching me at a time in which the coronavirus policies seem to be changing. Things are opening up a little bit. There's rumors of testing centers being shut down, but yes, there is a testing center over there. Oh well, slowly, slowly. I wish it was quickly, quickly, but anyway. All right, here's the main man, Marco Polo. He was the only foreigner who'd been through the Silk Road and the Beijing Hanzhou Grand Canal 700 years ago. Let me see, Yangzhou was the only city where he served as a local government official for three years. The chief of Yangzhou, Lu Zhongguangfu, and then the rest is covered up with grass. So, and he came back to Italy, he said, check out these long things. Let's call them spaghetti. Here it is, but where is the ticket office? Is that the ticket office, that ice cream van? Let's check it out. Hello. Perfect timing, nice guy, got a ticket. And funnily enough, he's going to the uh, San Juan Park that I went to in my last video. Isn't that funny? Here's the ticket and here's the boat. Should we get on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Leave in ten minutes. All right. Looks like a cafe in here. The light jackets under the seats. 
pretty nice. Another temple that I didn't know about, Wenfang Temple, which is in the southeast side. And just coming around the bend here is the, the museum. So on the left we have what looks like an old temple, and on the right we have the modern temple-like structure, which is made of glass. I've got to be honest, when in my last video I said I'd have to come back to this park, I wasn't expecting it to be so soon. Well, sugar, here we are again. Um, now I can do the other half that I um, neglected to do last time because it got too cold. There 
Eric said this is one of the best museums he's ever been to. But still, day is not that day. I will not go. I just don't have enough time. I'm sorry. I have to go to work later on. Just a quick brisk walk again. As some uh, modern monstrosities go, I actually kind of like this one. And I kind of like the fact that you can actually go up there, I think. I saw some people on the bridge on the way to the tower. I think that would be awesome. Oh, actually, I'm aware of a very, um, very uh, famous restaurant. Yeah. Non uh. One Viet Campfire Cafe. Pretty cool. There's even more refurbishment development going on here. There's going to be another sort of ancient city thing around this wall. And I don't know why this house, right, it's got a big like, um, crane on it. Strange, isn't it. What I find funny in these sort of places is that it'll have a park or a lake or something, and then it will have um, a tea house or a library or something like that. And I feel like it's, some, it's a bit out of the way, isn't it? Or something like that. Lotus Cafe, yeah, okay, you've just had a walk and come out for a cup of tea, fine. But, cripes, a library? You wouldn't come out all the way here to study, I don't think. I should have come here for my coffee instead of Starbucks, I think it would have been a bit nicer. Oh well, next time. What a great way to do a tour in this city. You can go from Dongwanjie straight to the canal take the ferry to here, do the museum. That's a full day, that's a proper good day. Hey, if you like this video, remember to like the video. If you'd like to see more, check out some of the suggested videos, some more vlogs in China. See you next time, bye.